Alrighty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. For years now, the conventional wisdom is that using our smartphones and tablets just before bed will keep us awake. But what if the conventional wisdom is wrong? I'm Kim Commando for NetSuite. Attention business owners, get a -a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program at netsuite.com slash kim. Experts claim that it's the blue light. It started from the National Institutes of Health, or the NIH, the same people who lied by saying that COVID did not come from China and that every school and business must be shut down and you should stay home during the pandemic, which we now know was an overreach. In reality, scientists say there's no real research linking smartphone screens and iPads to sleep disturbances. In fact, 11 studies say that the blue light story is simply hogwash. What's really going on is that we get so engrossed in what we're reading or watching on on these screens that we simply cannot put it down to get a good night's sleep. So in short, we're just staying up way too late. So tonight, turn it off and just go to sleep. Join a half a million folks who get tech smarts with my free newsletter. Sign up at getkim.com. Now, check out this amazing call from the show. It's a real gem. Fred in Springfield, Virginia. Hi there, Fred. Hey, um, thanks for taking my call. I'm a longtime listener. I remember driving the uh, AM waves with you back in the early 2000s. Now I'm a subscriber to your newsletter and podcasts and, and awesome. thank you for what you do. Oh, you betcha. Thank um, you. Yep. So my the bottom line, what I'm looking for guidance on is blood pressure monitoring. Okay. So the backstory is I'm getting into the point of life now where I need to monitor my blood pressure. Um, it would be such a, an ease to have a digital solution. Uh, on a watch or a phone as opposed to having to put the cuff on, you know, all that sort of stuff. Sure. Uh, I bought a Samsung Watch 5 about a year ago. And one of the reasons I bought it was it was billed to do blood pressure monitoring. I downloaded the uh, the software, got it up and running. It did atrial fibrillation. It did sleep. Uh, but it didn't did do BP. Heart rate. Didn't blood pressure, correct. Mm-hmm. Call customer support a couple of times. They said, hey, it hasn't been FDA approved. Uh, I had heard on Reddit that if you go to Europe, that they actually had it as part of their package in Europe. Uh, went to Europe, tried to do a fresh download on the watch. It wasn't out there. So uh, also there's a, you know, a couple of uh, Google apps that are out there that are built to do blood pressure monitoring, but in my experience, they're nothing more than bloatware. So I'm wondering if you had an idea uh, where the FDA approval is in terms of getting this new sense. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one, too. App, Apple's been trying to get this approval for many years, too, for their watch. Um, I had yeah. heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, Fred, but I had heard at one point that it, that if you downloaded the Canadian version of the app, that you could get blood pressure monitoring on that uh, Watch Five uh, or the okay. Watch or the Watch Three. Now I don't. I've never done it. I don't know if that's the truth. I just remember hearing some in some weirdo techno nerdy conversation that I've had with some people. Like, oh, if you go to Canada and you download the app, you know, one of those like you know, earshot type of conversations. Um, so sure. you might want to try that, but I'm not exactly sure if 100% of it's going to work. Now, there is something called the BP Doctor Pro smartwatch. Um, you know, if if doing your blood pressure and keeping monitoring that is really super important, is that it does blood pressure, does um, oxygen levels, uh, it tracks your workout, your calories, your sleep, your weather. I mean, everything that that you might want a smartwatch to do with the exception of being able to get your text messages, uh, say off your Android or your iPhone. Uh, It's about, um, I want to say it's about $190, $200. And I'll send you a link to it. You might want to check that out. Uh, It's called the, it's called the, it's like the, but it's like YHE BP Dr. Pro. It's a blood pressure smartwatch specifically made for folks who are, are having issues with their blood pressure because you're right. I mean, if you are having issues, you have to monitor it because we don't want you to have a stroke, right? Uh, and so I would expect that we're going to see this FDA approval. I was surprised that we don't have it quite yet. I would imagine that in January, that's when we have all the new uh, devices that are announced and also those that are come to market. It's every year in January, the first first or second week of January, it's called the Consumer Electronics Show. 
and typically mm-hmm. happens in Las Vegas. That's at the time of year that if Samsung, Apple, or anybody else, well, I shouldn't say Apple. Apple doesn't go to the Consumer Electronics Show. They kind of have this snobby thing that's like, we don't need to be part of it, right? Uh, but every other company in the universe that may have a blood pressure uh, application that does, in fact, work and that does have FDA approval, that that's where they're going to be really uh, bringing all their products to market. And we may see some movement with the Samsung Watch 5 at that point. Uh, but until then, uh, take a look at this BP Dr. Pro. I put you on hold. Maddie will send you a link out to it because she's actually screening our calls today. And thank you so much for all your kind words, Fred, and for being with me for so long. It's uh, it's really good people like you that have enabled me to have such a fabulous career that I love and being able to help so many people around the world. Big virtual hug for listening. Now, if you want your questions tackled, head to commando.com and find that link that says email Kim. Yes, sirree. Every single note you send me becomes my must read. Hey, be the tech guru among all your friends and fam. Sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.